Hello, my name is Danielle Adams and today I'm going to make a really easy cheesecake. Ingredients are readily available. What I'm going to do, the recipe that I sent was for a whole cheesecake. I'm going to make some individual ones and the reason for this is that actually because ingredients are difficult to come by, I thought I don't want to make my cheesecake now. It's too early before Shavuot and the time of filming. So I thought I'd just make a few of these and we can eat these over Shabbat. So I'm going to half the recipe. Um, but if you're making a whole one, just use the recipe that I sent in advance. So we have some digestive biscuits here and we're going to crush these up. Now, some people prefer to put them in a food bag and then you get a rolling pin and you crush them down or you could put, which I actually would prefer to do, put them into... We're going to put them into a bowl here and we're going to crush them. But I'm actually not going to use this whole packet because I'm only making half the quantity today. My biscuits are now crushed. My butter is now melted and I'm going to add to the melted butter to the crushed biscuits. Mix it all up. I once saw a recipe that said you, you could omit the butter. The problem is then as you're putting the top of your cheesecake on top of it, you can easily just scoop up the biscuits and then you don't get a very nice base. So it's important actually to put the melted butter in with the crushed biscuits. And then what I'm going to do, I say I'm making these mini cheesecakes today. I ordered these off Amazon. I thought they were quite good actually. Little foil, um, like mini ramekins actually. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some the base into each one. And then I'm gonna press it down with the back of the spoon. I may, I probably could do it using a teaspoon actually. I've not done it like this before. Right, what I've done, I've taken these out of the fridge, so they've set, well, the base is set. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put my cheese in the bowl. Cream cheese. Cream, it is cream cheese, sorry Josh. Yes, Josh was I recording. Just remember, it's, this is cream cheese, not cheese. Thank you. I have my assistant here correcting me as I go along. The great thing about this recipe, you don't have to measure the quantities quite exactly as they, as I've said, you can just say, I want half of this, so yeah, half yeah, the, that will do. Is and that cream? That's cream, yes, that's what we're going to do. We're going to mix it in. Is that normal cream or double cream? This is double cream. As you can tell, Joshua has not read the recipe that I sent out. <laughs> so, yes. um, yes, we're going to mix it all up. There we go. There we go. And what we're going to do, and I've melted this already, and I've said on the recipe you could use um, Terry's chocolate orange, you could use dairy milk, you could use Bourneville, you could use whatever chocolate you wanted. I happen to have milky bar, so that's what we're going to do here. I've melted it already. I'm going to put it into the, the mixture here. I've allowed it to cool slightly. my electric whisk. Very easy to do by hand. And there is the cheesecake. So what I'm going to do now is put this mixture on top of the base. And then I'm going to put them in the fridge Right, here we go. This is the finished cheesecakes. If I was making one large cheesecake, I would tend to smooth it over on the top and then you can serve it with berries. But because this is in these individual little cases, I've sort of just left it sort of swirly. Anyway, have a nice answer.